Okay, guys, today we're going to talk about five intimacy killers in a married relationship. Are you ready for this? Number one, digital distractions. If you're always looking at a screen, you're not looking in your spouse's eyes, your intimacy and closeness is going to suffer big time. Put the phone down, shut the laptop, turn off Netflix, spend quality time together, technology free. Number two, flirting. This is twofold. We need to stop flirting with others and start flirting with your spouse. If you're giving attention to others, it's going to drown out the intimacy you have with your spouse. And if you're not focusing on giving your spouse attention and having fun with them, your intimacy is never going to grow. So stop flirting with others. Start flirting with your spouse. And why not start that today? Number three, porn. We talk about it all the time. If you've got sex secrets, if you're looking at porn, it's going to crush, I mean, crush the intimacy with your spouse. Stay clear of porn, and if it's got a hold on you, please get help, and please do that today. Number four, negative comments. If you're constantly breaking your spouse down or pointing out their flaws, they're not going to want to be intimate with you. No one wants to spend time with someone who thinks little of them. Your spouse isn't going to feel safe enough to be intimate with you if you're breaking them down. So instead, focus on building them up. And number five, neglecting quality time. You can't check out of your marriage. You can't put it on cruise control. An awesome marriage that is rich in intimacy takes purposeful action. Get serious about pouring into your marriage. Get serious about spending quality time together. Why not start that today? Those are five marriage killers that you can turn around and do something about so you've got an awesome marriage. See you next time.